I don't hey baby girl has no car. Hi. I am back once again to my YouTube channel. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, please do consider subscribing at the end of this video if you enjoyed watching, okay? And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thank you so much for coming back to um, watch my videos. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. So today's video is going to be a first time tag, okay? Um, basically what it means is that I'm going to be answering a couple of questions about the first time I did something, yeah. So, it is a video you think you might be interested in, then keep on watching, okay? Don't go. question is what is the first app I check when I wake up now I want to be like the first app I check is my Bible app you know say prayer and all that but <laughs> that would be a lie a very very big lie the first app I check has to be between Instagram and YouTube yeah sadly okay I know immediately we wake up you know we're meant to say a prayer and I'm, I'm working on it I'm, I'm really trying honestly I'm trying to you know say a prayer or check my Bible app you know firstly before I do anything in the morning but yo it's hard so yeah the first app I check I think it's Instagram I don't even know when this my love for Instagram started I think it's corona yes please let's blame it on corona okay I mean post corona no, prior to corona yeah before corona actually started i mean i was on instagram right but i don't think i was ever this active you know on instagram but these days like i don't know i don't, I don't know what <laughs> i don't know what's happening with me on instagram but yeah the first app i check when i wake up is my instagram yeah sometimes youtube but i, I mostly instagram yeah instagram <laughs> when was my first time leaving nigeria so guys my first time leaving nigeria was in 2019 september yes yeah, so just <laughs> Just few months back was the first time my two legs left Nigeria. Yes, prior to that, even Ghana, Togo, <laughs> even Benin Republic, my two legs have not, <laughs> have not stepped into those places. So I've always been in Nigeria, literally all my life. I've been there, you know, up until September 2019. And the first place I went to was Dubai. Yeah, I was coming to China, but then we had like a really long layover in Dubai. So we stopped in Dubai for, um, I think, almost a day it was like a really long layover so yeah we stopped in Dubai and then I came to China yeah, so that was my first time the next question is where was my first plane ride guys I actually remember my first plane ride I was so excited I was like ha god I'm going to enter plane <laughs> oh my goodness I was like I'm going to enter plane you know and I actually took a bus I took a bus from Oka to Enugu yeah I took a bus from Oka to Enugu because if you can read my books I took bus from Oka to Enugu and I went Lagos. Oh. Anyways, I will advise you to please if they send you to school, university, <laughs> read your books so don't gonna be traveling to see anybody up and down. Even if you want to travel, please make sure somebody knows where you're going to, okay? Yeah, tell your sister or your friend, tell somebody uh, where you're going. So in my case, my sister knew. Kiru. I don't know if you remember this, but yeah, you should share. So yeah, she knew where I was going. Next question is, what was my first car? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this question really cracked me cracked me up because wow wow, wow dear <laughs> you asked me my first bicycle first now before you start asking me my first car I don't have a car I don't I don't but I'm speaking a car into my life 2021 guys I'm going to buy my car yes I'm speaking it into existence you guys should ask me <laughs> ask me for my car in 2021 okay even if I don't end up buying it myself I will put to the Lord using somebody to bless me <laughs> Okay, I don't know I'm laughing stupidly, but I'm open to somebody blessing me with car. You know, if the Lord sends me a helper with a car, who am I to say no? But on a serious note, I really want to buy my own car. I really want to get a car myself in 2021 by God's grace. So, yeah, let's see how that goes. Hopefully, I come back on this channel and, you know, <laughs> we'll pop champagne together. So, yeah, wish me luck on that. Next question is my first cooking experience. Uh, to be very honest, I can't remember my exact first cooking experience, but I do remember the first meal I cooked, which, which was beans. <laughs> Guys, I think immediately I turned 11, I was in jazz one at that point, and when I turned 11, turned jazz one, my mother was like, yo, <laughs> it's time, you know, she started, um, she told me that I had to start cooking. I remember my beans, oh, my beans used to have 
skoy skoy like <laughs> that my beast always had issues it was either the oil was too much there was too much salt or that i poured crayfish into it or that it's burnt like that burnt oil was almost a constant thing because <laughs> My mom loved beans, so on Mondays, guys, because we had like a food roaster back then, so like every day we knew what we were going to cook, right? So uh, my mom loved beans, so you know, those days she comes back on Mondays like excited, like, oh, <laughs> I'm coming back to eat my favorite food. And I remember the minute she opens the door, she would just shout my name, you see? And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and I'm like, God, she not told me that I'll be said, like, oh, I'll be like, no, the beans is not born, no. She said, but she's perceiving like the beans born. And I'll be like, no, let her go. No, I'm not coming here next year. I'm not coming here next year. And I'll just deny that, you know, the, it didn't burn. Which was obviously a lie because, yo, <laughs> the smell was obviously in the air. Like, you could perceive that these beans had burned. But I'll just be like, no, the beans did not burn. So, yeah, me and beans. Mm. It was actually a really long while before I, you know, I was able to make beans without it burning, without putting too much oil, or without pouring the whole crayfish inside the house. So yeah, that was that was the first meal I started cooking beans. Yeah, that was my um, first ear piercing. Guys, I'm not even wearing earrings. Like I don't know, I don't know when this one started, but recently to even put on earrings, it has been a chore for me. Okay. A normal day I don't like like dangling, I don't like big earrings, so I used to wear like you know tiny stud earrings. But these days, my stud the one safe, it gave me as a good go like I don't even wear anything at all. But the fun fact is throw back to I think 20 2011, 2012, I can't remember, but I remember I was trying to get into the university at that point and I was telling my mom, you know, I wanted to get um a second ear piercing, and she was like, What? Hmm. She sounded like I said something so I was like, ah, she was like, I'm not going to get another ear piercing. How my three elder sisters don't have um, second ear piercings? Oh, but I'm small brass. You want to go open your ear? Your now your three elder sisters they don't have um, second ear piercings. I was like, ah, what's the big deal? Like guys, up until today, I don't understand why people make it a big deal. Like when you know somebody has a second piercing or a third piercing or a fourth or whatever. Like why? Like, what's the big deal? I mean, if we're allowed to have one ear piercing, why can't we have two, three, four, and five, right? <laughs> Guys, she told me that I could only open my ear when I move into my husband's house, that I cannot do it under her roof. But, yeah, that, that was how I did not pierce my ear. And now I don't even want to take in because I feel like, obviously, now I can actually decide to go and get an ear piercing and, you know, get, is it an ear or a? I don't know, okay? I can't shall now decide to go and get, like, a piercing. Yeah, it's a get a piercing but i don't want it anymore so yeah this the sheep the boats that sheep has still yeah i think that's how they say it. that sheep has still next question is my first job ever um my first job ever was uh, me working as a chinese translator in um nigeria um guys um, I, you guys should have probably known this by now i think i would have mentioned it i don't know when this video is going to go up but uh maybe i would have mentioned it but if not um, i study chinese language i currently live in china so my first job in nigeria before coming to china was a chinese translator okay yeah and i got that job i think i even got that job before i finished my end NYSC, yeah, so it was pretty cool. It was it was not bad, I think. Um, salary ever working in Nigeria. Hmm. Now this question, this question is somehow, but I'm going to answer it. Why? Because I'm currently no longer working there. Um, that was like in 2018, so I feel like I can share that now with you guys because we all know in Nigeria. Hmm, are you talking about money in the public? We don't do that. We don't talk about money in public with people. But my, you cannot come out and say at least how much they are, they are paying me. We don't do that. But because you know that was like almost two years ago, I'm no longer working there. Then I can actually say it. so. My first salary was 130k. Yeah. Ah. And to me then, no, it was big money. In fact, what am I saying then? Even till now, yes, till now, it's big money. <laughs> It is big money guys that we will come out from it was big money to me then I was bowling and bear in mind that at that point I wasn't paying for anything I wasn't paying for rent I wasn't paying for electricity or anything the money was mine <laughs> and mine alone so you know I could buy if I wanted I could you know spend the money on shopping on whatever I wanted so nobody was there like oh you know send me money give me this you know unless I wanted to give but it wasn't like I didn't have any responsibilities back then so it was actually a pretty good salary if I do say so myself yeah it was 
is who was my first love? Wow. When I saw this question, I was like, honestly, nobody came to my mind. Like, I was like, first love. <laughs> What's that? Like, wow. Like, I don't know. Honestly, I can't think of anybody I would say right now, oh, this was my first love. I love him so much. No. <laughs> I have no memory of such, okay? I don't I don't know. I can't remember any first love. Next question is when was the first time I filmed I tried filming a YouTube video? So the first time I actually tried filming a YouTube video was um, last year, 2019, in November or December. I think November, yeah. But that video, hmm, I never posted it. <laughs> I never posted that video. I don't know why. I don't even know what happened to that video because it's currently not in my phone. I ended up, I think I deleted, I can't remember. But that video, guys, it took me a lot. A lot. Like, I think I ended up filming all day. I would film, I would stop, I would film, I would stop. I kept making mistakes and I was like, oh my. I just got tired and I stopped filming and I ended up not actually posting that video. So yeah, the first time I actually, you know, sat down, <laughs> dressed up, wore my clothes and filmed the video was in 2019, November, December. I'm not sure of the exact mode right now, but yeah. So guys, our next and final question is, uh, my first time getting into trouble in school. Hmm. I guess this is like, you know, secondary school, AKA high school. And do you know the funny thing? Hmm. I can't remember. I can't recall. Ask me why. <laughs> there were so many instances that I got into trouble that I can't remember the first time I was getting into trouble. <laughs> right? <laughs> Left <laughs> center. Like, guys, I was just... Mm. In secondary school, I was just like... Mm. I don't even... I don't know. Like, I was... There was just always something happening. Drama problem issues teacher shouting my yeah, song like i loved my high school experience i mean i have you know a couple of friends right now yeah a few friends here and there right now that i'm still very close with that i made through my you know i made in secondary school and we have been friends since then you know what it is some of these people i started you know talking with them 2014 20 no sorry 2004 2005 2006 because um you know i made these friends in like you know just one well, maybe you're close to a particular clique just to you're close to another clique so yeah i made i made them at different years right but still i've known these people for like over 10 years i feel like it's it's crazy some 15 years some 12 years some 13 years some more than 15 so i feel like at least for that i have to be very thankful for my you know for my secondary school but <laughs> but yeah back to the question which was what when was the first time I got into trouble in school guys like I said it was I was always getting into trouble okay me and my clique of friends then there was just always something happening we we're just always literally in one trouble or the other but one instance I actually remember now uh, was when we went for a picnic yeah we went for a picnic we left school and went for a picnic at um, I think it was in Go, in Go Pine Forest Oh my god, like I don't know what I was thinking. Like, if you're watching this video, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it if you're watching this video? I remember a couple of people, I can't remember exactly who and who actually went for that picnic, but I know Isine was there and a couple of other people were there. We went for picnic. And it's funny because I mean it was during classes, like we actually had school that day, right? But I think school wasn't so serious that period. Let's say like maybe we are done with the exams or something. I can't really remember honestly. But I know school wasn't so serious that day and you know, we were like, let's plan a picnic and all that and we left school. <laughs> we left school and took a bus to Ungo Pine Forest. I don't know, it wasn't extremely, extremely far from like our school then, but it was, a, it was far because we had to like rent a bus and take the bus and you know, start going all the way to the forest. That picnic was just, ugh. That experience, I, don't even think I feel like every almost every single person that went for that picnic got into trouble. Like, hmm, I don't want to go into that picnic. Maybe I'll do it as a different a story time of what happened because that day was just crazy. So yeah, I would say that that was one of the most outstanding, you know, periods that I got into trouble because my dad was mad, my mom was mad, everybody was just like, "Are you mad?" 
because it was crazy okay maybe one one day i'm just going to sit down and do a story time about you know my experience in a nigerian secondary school in nigerian high school so guys that's about it for this video um i hope you guys enjoyed watching this um yeah you can also let let me know down below in the comment sections you know your first time doing uh, some of the things i talked about i really want to hear you guys um experiences as well if you enjoyed this video and you're yet to subscribe please beg i'm begging my dear subscribe um subscribe yeah down below and also give this video a thumbs up okay so until my next time see you guys